When your Ambernic RG353V won't turn on, start with the charging basics. The most common issue is inadequate charging or using the wrong charging method. First, connect your device to the original charger and let it charge for at least 15 minutes. This ensures the battery has enough power to boot up. Make sure you're using the bottom USB-C port for charging. The top port is not designed for charging and won't work. Avoid using USB-C to USB-C cables and try different cables and power adapters if the original ones aren't working. Next, let's perform a proper reset procedure. This can resolve many boot issues, especially after switching SD cards. The reset procedure involves specific steps that must be done in order. Start by unplugging the charger completely. Remove the SD card completely, then reinsert it firmly. Make sure it clicks into place properly. Briefly press the reset button once. This is usually a small button that may require a paperclip or similar tool. Finally, hold the power button for three to five seconds. Don't just tap it. You need to hold it down to power on from a completely off state. Now let's check your SD card. SD card issues are one of the most common causes of boot problems. First, ensure your SD card is properly inserted. Try booting without the OS SD card to see if you get a battery charging icon. If the charging icon appears, the issue is likely SD card or firmware related. The original SD cards that come with these devices are often low quality. Use a good name brand SD card from trusted manufacturers like SanDisk, Samsung, or PNY. Buy from trusted retail sources to avoid counterfeit cards. Ensure your SD card is formatted to FAT32. This is crucial for proper compatibility with the device's firmware. If the TF1 SD card is missing or corrupted, the system may not charge properly. Always ensure this card is properly inserted with working software. These basic troubleshooting steps resolve most power on issues with the RG353V. If your device still won't turn on after trying these steps, you may need to explore more advanced solutions. When basic troubleshooting fails, advanced solutions focus on firmware, battery, and system level issues. First, Firmware problems are common causes of boot failures. Screen issues after installing ArcOS often indicate a version 2 screen. The solution is renaming the device tree file in the boot partition from rk3566-dcb.dtb to rk3566-dcb.dtb.v1. Battery problems require multiple approaches. First, disable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth when not needed, as these features drain power even in sleep mode. If battery life is significantly reduced, disconnect the battery for a few minutes, then reconnect and charge to 100%. This can reset the battery management system. Charging port problems are often caused by debris or damage. Inspect the port carefully and clean it with compressed air to remove any accumulated dust or lint. ArcOS may have boot reliability issues at the default 1.8 gigahertz speed. Lower the maximum speed to 1.4 gigahertz by modifying the device tree file. Always perform proper system shutdown through the menu rather than simply turning off the device. This prevents firmware corruption and ensures system stability. These advanced solutions address firmware updates, screen compatibility, battery optimization, charging port maintenance, performance tuning, and proper shutdown procedures for reliable RG353V operation.